<laughs> yes, that's right. I mean, it's it's not really any other time you would brag on our 90s, but in August, when you've dealt with 100s for days on end, which is what we were dealing with, it's a much better setup. So I'll take it any day. Uh, starting off this morning, we've got a mostly clear setup, not seeing really much in the way of cloud cover, and we are keeping a dry setup as well. So hopefully that'll make for a easy commute as well. We take a look at temperatures. They've dropped back into the 70s. So we've got 77 from DFW Airport. Feels like 78, that dew point of 73. It's high now. It's, it's humid when you step out, but it's going to be dropping off today thanks to a second front that pushes through the region. Winds out of the north five miles per hour, and those should stay fairly light as well. So temperatures across the area, mostly in the mid to upper 70s. Dallas at 79. We've got 73 from Denton. McKinney at 75 heading out this morning. The rest of the day with all that sunshine, of course, will not take us very long to see upper 80s by the time we get to noon. And then our high temperatures topping out in the low to mid 90s. But that's still better than what is average. An average would be in the upper 90s. So we will stay below average for another day. Temperatures looking very similar to yesterday. Here's going to be the difference, though. That humidity dropping off for us as that second front pushes through the region. It clears out any of those leftover clouds to the south. We will remain dry today and into tomorrow. And the next couple of days, that drop in the humidity is going to stay with us. So while it's humid to start off today and even around midday, maybe still seeing some dew points in the 60s, once we push on into the afternoon, you're starting to see numbers in the 50s, which for this time in the year, we know that is rare. A drier air mass for us, so it will actually feel like the temperature as we move on through the next couple of days, which we're talking about low to mid 90s. And then, of course, we will warm back up for the weekend as we're talking about temperatures back to around average. Still not too bad, Karen. We've got no 100s in the forecast. I'll take it. No heat advisories. So I think we can still consider this a win. Oh, yeah. I look at those 97s and say hallelujah compared to, again, what we saw over the weekend, was, which was just pizza <laughs> oven type temperatures. All right. Thank you so much, Annalise.